I'm Dr. Langley. I'm sorry to worry you, but I'm afraid the police would like another word from Dr. Holland. No. I'm afraid so. Let's see if I can have him relieved. He's throwing our routine into chaos. Well, it is a very serious matter. Yes, yes, I understand that. If you're looking for me, hang around. I'll only uh, As a matter of fact, I'll, I want to speak to Matthew. Oh. oh, well, I'll leave you to it. Matron. Yes? I've got something to tell you, Matron. I know who took Dr. Steele's little girl. I said to Nixon. Are you sure? Yeah. I was the one who ran Caroline and got her out of the way. I put the baby back. What does Emma want with her baby? It's a long story, Major. Well, you'd better sit down and tell me all about it, hadn't you? Yeah. Oh, I thought Emma had been acting strangely lately. Every time I took her home, she wouldn't let me in the flat. Well, I got suspicious. So the other night, I talked her into making me a cup of coffee. While she was in the kitchen, I stuck my head in the bedroom. And there was the baby. Well, I didn't know what to do. You should have come straight to me, Jonathan. Yeah, I should have, but I didn't. All I could think of was getting the baby back to the steel, safe and well. I could see what they were going through. Well, I got the idea of putting the baby back in the reception. So I rang Caroline, got her out the way, I put the baby behind the desk and chopped through him. Now, you could be in very serious trouble, Jonathan. I realise that, Matron. I just wanted to get the baby back. Well, where is Emma now? At home. She's in a bad way, Matron. I've got a neighbour looking after her. Yes, well, she is obviously a very sick girl. Um, we'd better let the Steels and the police know immediately and then pick Emma up and bring her back to the hospital. There's no knowing what she'll do in this condition. Well, come on. Come on. Well, I think you know the answer to that, but thank you, I'm coping. I can imagine how you must feel. Can you? Look, um, how about I move back into the flat? Well, only if you want to. Don't just do it for my sake. I thought you might like the company. I'm all right. Well, anyway, I couldn't tonight. Nurse Connors, you know, the one who's leaving to get married. It's her farewell party. Oh, I see. And it could go on till all hours. Hmm. I suppose I could stagger in on you about three o'clock. No, thanks. At the moment, I need all the beauty sleep I can get. No, you better come back and wake up the hospital, eh? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, you know I'm around if you need me. Not disturbing, I hope. No, I'm disturbing. Want to see me, Doctor? Yes. It's about my young sister, Julie. She's going back home tonight, and I'd like you to talk to her before she goes. Oh, what about? She has this idea that she wants to take up nursing. Could you spare a few minutes sometime today? Oh, certainly. I want you to talk her out of it. Why? What have you got against the nursing profession? Nothing. It's just, in my opinion, she'd never make a nurse. That's a rather sweeping statement. Well, maybe, but I know what she's like. She wouldn't last five minutes. See, Julie thinks it's all fun. Let's face it, it's very hard work. So could you just put her off the idea, eh? I'll see what I can do. Thanks. How's she enjoying life in the big city? Loves it. But she's seen the inside of every disco in town. <laughs> well, not all of them, but quite a few. It's been a wild week. Oh, for you as a brother, I can imagine. Poor Ada, though. I think she's feeling the strain with both of us around. Well, it's probably been good for her taking her mind off things and Arthur and all that. Yeah. Well, what time can you see Julie? Um, after lunch. Okay, thanks. I'll say that uh, drink I was going to buy you. It's still there whenever you want it. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten. So, what with the kidnapping and the rest of the trouble, we've decided to make it a small family christening. We'll throw a party for our friends later. Very sensible. I'll let you know, know the new date once we've spoken to the minister. You do feel up to it, don't you, Raven? If you still want me to be godmother. I wouldn't miss it, you know that. Okay. Is my order ready, Ada? Yes, dear. I see so. Do you want a new job? <laughs> well, with so many good-looking doctors around, I need energy. Oh, I think you have energy enough, nurse. Thank you, Ada. Have you seen Joy? No, not yet. How about Julian's watch? Oh, I don't 
don't think I'll bother, thanks, love. Uh, I'm not very hungry. And Emma hasn't turned up yet. is not found or anything. You seem very tense. Something's up. What is it? Well, I had a visitor this morning. Policeman. Nice young chap. Is that Arthur? Yeah. Gave me Arthur's wallet. Somebody found it washed up on the beach. Of course, you know, I knew it was hopeless, but... Oh, well, that's final, isn't it? No, I'm sorry, Ada. Uh, All the more reason why she should come to lunch. Then you can take the rest of the day off and I'll drive you home. No, the kiosk's me home now. I think I'd rather carry on as usual. It's the only thing that kept me going on that bad time, you know. That nice people like you and your sister. Hello. Hello. It's been a beautiful day. Well, look who's bubbling over. Just the thought of going home. Did you do it? Yes, Sister Jeffrey will see you after lunch. Great. Come on. Let's go. See you later, Mrs. Bye. Um, I'd rather you didn't mention anything about the wallet. Okay, that's what you want. This will make you feel better. What is it? Only tea. It's good for the nerves. You see. Hi, Emma. Brought your visitor. How is she, Mrs. Foster? She's still in a bit of shock, I'm afraid. You, uh, you know, Matron Emma. She's come to have a little chat with you. My baby's gone. The baby's safe, Emma. No problem? None at all. Poor dear's been like this ever since Dennis brought me here. Well, thank you very much. I think we can manage on our own now. Bye, love. These people take good care of you. Uh, thanks, Mr. Foster. How are you feeling, Emma? Dana, why did you take my baby away? It isn't your baby, Emma. But it is. I told you it is. That's why we're getting married. I thought she was going to have a baby. So did I. So I took her to an outside doctor for a test. When I realised she'd taken the Steele's baby, I checked with the doctor. He said it was all in the mind. That she was never going to have a baby. Why did you take the baby, Emma? She was alone. So alone. She was lovely. I knew she was mine straight away. You see, I lost her. And then I found her. Well, that baby belongs to somebody else. She's mine! Um, Dennis, I think perhaps we'd better go back to the hospital and sort it all out there. Do you mind doing that, Emma? All right. Maybe I'll be able to see her again. Slight case of bronchitis, but we managed to catch it in time. All right, nurse, take Mr. Walters through and direct him to the pharmacy. Yes, doctor, this way, please. Thank you, doctor. My pleasure. Seems very quiet. Oh, don't say that. You know what will happen. <laughs> Can I go to lunch? Yes, in a minute. Nurse. Yes, doctor. You were eating sweets on duty. I'm sorry, but I was starving and I don't have a break for another half an hour. Mm. See that it doesn't happen again. Got any left? <laughs> Here. Oh, good. My favourites. <laughs> Dr. Holland? Mm? Oh, thanks. I gather your young sister is interested in nursing. All young sisters are interested in nursing. Julie's problem is she'd last a day. She'd be hopeless. I see, but she doesn't think so. But I happen to know so. Mm -hmm. How old is she? Seventeen. Seventeen. Yes, I remember making a few decisions myself at that age. And I'm sure you did too. Be that as it may. Oh, come on, Doctor. You know, you're just like my sister. Do as I say, not as I do. Yes, well, I have something to do. Yes, Doctor. I take it you saw young John Snow. He did it tomorrow morning. I believe the other boy, Brad Matthews, is the one on the mend. 
making good recovery. Mm, good, I bet Dr. Fielding will discharge him tomorrow. Mm. Sorry to bother you. Hi. Hello. Anything the matter? No, no. I just thought I'd pop in and tell you we're going to Susan Richards for dinner tonight. It's her day off, so I'll pop over there now and have a bit of a chat and you can come over after you finish work. All right. What about Jessica? Well, she's coming too. Oh, we should be keeping her out. I mean, she's been through a lot lately. You are a bad spot sometimes. Look, darling, with two doctors and a trained sister in attendance, I'd say our baby was a reasonably good hand. Oh, sister. Julie's over at the kiosk of Ada. Some lunch we had. She's got it down in 20 minutes so that she'll be ready for when you are. <laughs> good. That's the sort of enthusiasm I like. How do you listen, one in? Good as gold, thank you. The problem is to convince her father of that. Well, you can't be too careful. <laughs> I'll catch up with you later. Dr. Holland wants me to explain the facts of life at the Albert Memorial. Oh, is she old enough? I doubt it. <laughs> Julie, this is Sister Jeffries. Hello, so you're the young lady interested in nursing. I certainly am, sister. Would you like to come to my office and have a talk about it? Yes, very much. Not as glamorous as it looks. No? Oh, I know that. Sister Jeffries will sort her out. Some people need sorting out, but I don't think she does. Well, look at this, and look at the stuff. Emma, where have you Later. been? I've been... Later. 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 Um, it's Emma Dixon who took your baby from my office. Emma! It's not uncommon for young girls today to think they're going to have a baby, and uh, in Emma's case, she's convinced that she's given birth to the child and that Jessica is hers. What? Well, if she imagines that Jessica is her baby, well, how did it come to be returned? That was Jamison. He found Jessica at Emma's place, and all he could think about was getting the baby back to you. He couldn't bring himself to get Emma over to the police. Well, now the kidnapping is being put into their hands, it's up to the magistrate to decide on the treatment that Emma should have. We can do nothing about that anymore. Oh, that poor girl. Isn't Jamison going to marry her? Well, he explained that on the way back, and... Emma had told him that she was going to have a baby, and he felt very sorry for her. Cup of coffee, please, Anna. Look, where's Emma? She should be here getting it. What's going on? Emma's not well. Well, why didn't she ring and tell me? She was too confused. You still haven't told me what's going on. It's a long story, Ada. I'll tell you later on. I've got to get back soon. You'll tell me now. You won't get this coffee. All right. Find out soon enough. Emma's the one that took the baby. What? She couldn't help it. Does she know the harm she caused Sister Turner? No. She's too mixed up. You see, she couldn't accept the fact that she wasn't going to have a baby. But she is going to have a baby. Oh, it was all in her mind. Oh. So you were going to marry her to give the baby a name and a home. What do you mean I was going to marry her? I still am. One thing's for sure. Dennis Jemison's not going to let it happen. Well, by all appearances, the girl took very good care of the baby. As if it were her own. I'm very sorry, Dr. Steele. Oh, oh. Mr. Steele. Oh, Dennis, why didn't you tell us? All I could think of was well, getting the baby back as fast as I could. Well, we're grateful for that, at least. Yeah. Well, I first knew something up when Emma was slow on the trolley. You know, missing out the wards and so on. All the time she was ducking off home to feed the baby. And when she wasn't there, well, she had a neighbour looking after Jessica. Sergeant Henderson, please contact injection. Someone in room, eh? Yes, Judge. When I think of Jessica being with someone so unbalanced. She did take good care of her. That doesn't cancel out the worry that you and I went through. Oh. Will we have our baby back? And there's nothing to worry about. Dr. Lang is just going to give you a checkup. I don't want one. I want my baby. You're anemia, Emma. We just want to make sure you're okay. I want to see Dennis. Why can't I speak to him? 
You can in a few minutes. Then you cooperate the faster things will be, and then you can forget it. I'll um, leave it to you, Doctor. Thanks, Matthew. Come in, Emma. Come in. Come in. Thank you, Miss. Thank you, Doctor. Oh, Matthew. Do you know if anyone's seen my sister Julie? She can't still be with sister Jeffries. Um. She wanted to talk to her about taking up nursing when she finished school. That is a very worthwhile career for the right sort of girl. I don't think she is the right sort of girl. Oh, Matron, I'd like yes. to have a word with you in my office if it's convenient. Yes, of course. No, sir, I'll be in Dr. Field's office if anyone needs me. Would you tell Sergeant Henderson that's where we are, please? Yes, Matron. something I'd like to say. Ready. Thank you for returning Jessica as quickly as you did. I guess I should have woken up sooner. There are a lot of little things. I might have prevented all this from happening. Don't worry. All over now. Dennis, Emma would like to see you. about Dennis in the past, and I just realized something. He's a very kind, very good human being. Mind you've got a friend if ever you need one. Even I have discussed it and decided not to press any charges. Oh, I'm glad. Although, of course, you still have to have faith of police action. Do you know, I had never even considered it to be Emma. Well, why should you? After all, she's an employee of the hospital. Ada recommended her and her credentials were safe and sure. Oh, that's true. Ah, oh, Jamison's got himself into a mess, though. He should never have taken the whole thing into his own hands. Mind you, he has shown a surprising amount of maturity. I'm standing by the door, in spite of everything. Yes, I'll give him that much. He had to grow up one day. I think he's a stick. Oh. Good afternoon, Doctor. Mm -hmm. Nurse said I'd find you here. Yes, what can I do for you? I'll need a statement from you. Oh, we'd better get her over and done with. Well, if you'll excuse me, I have my own duties to attend to. Thanks, mm -hmm. Matron. discovered that your baby was missing. You thought it was somebody at the hospital. Well, it did seem that way. Amazing, you know. You wouldn't think anything had happened to her. No, she's such a good little girl. I'm so sorry for Emma. She must have wanted a baby badly. I know. I hope you can do something. Well, better. she can't have you, can she, darling? Yeah, go to Mummy. Come on, my heart. We'll go and see Auntie. Very nice. You haven't forgotten our dinner invitation for tonight, have you? No, of course not. Great. Well, I'll see you about 7 o'clock. Sure. Yeah, I'll just a minute. So, Sister Jeffries has told you all the problems of a nursing career, has she? She certainly has. Good. Well, why don't we have dinner before you catch a train? But we'll have to move. And thanks, Sister. It appears your talk's done some good. Oh, I'm glad. She's an extraordinary young lady. You know, I can't wait to tell you about the job. Job? I start here, on Monday. Isn't that great? <laughs> Young 
doctors are with us for the last time tomorrow at half ten. And don't forget, we've more top drama from Down Under in two hours' time at one o'clock with E Street. First, though, here on Sky One, The Young and the Restless. Stay with us. <laughs>